Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing School and today I'm going to show you how to draw lowercase g's. Why am I doing this? <laughs> because my YouTube uh, friend uh, Julian Rocks the House has asked me to show how to draw lowercase g's and lowercase g's are really quite interesting uh, but let's not talk about it, let's get on with it. Lowercase g's, well this might seem a little bit of an odd uh, thing to do <laughs> but lowercase g's are actually quite interesting because that's how you uh, it's the best way to work out what typeface it is. If, you, if, if you've just got a typeface and you don't know what it is, um, look at the lowercase g. That will give you the most clues. And how did it? Uh, how did the lowercase g come about with that kind of weird shape that it has? Let me just kind of mark the uh, page so I've got a feeling what's going on. Well, you know, g started off if, with a kind of a Roman um, kind of version like that which would have been cut into stone and uh, you know and, and 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 the shape of it come comes because you're actually kind of chiseling away with stone and and then you know as you start doing it with pen and everything it starts to get a little bit uh, softer and um you know people will kind of start putting a little tail to it and you can see now there that it's not very far to go to join that bit up to the top and you have what is now the lowercase g and from there on it kind of all go, <laughs> goes all over the place and then people start really kind of designing it and there are a million ways to do a lowercase g um, you have a uh, you know the italic kind of way like that so you've got, got to have a tail that swings around to join up with the next letter um, let me think what else can we do um, it, it all starts once it starts getting into printing um, then it all starts going very very weird uh, and you get this kind of thing with a little circle on the bottom and a little squiggle on the top and I suppose that squiggle is is originally this bit up here and this kind of this side has slid over to the other side but it's kind of the same shape but it's kind of grown and um, evolved I suppose hasn't it um, and then and then this here is a cursive uh, not a cursive G what am I talking about a serif G so you've got thick sides and thin sides and it doesn't actually have a serif because the serif is the little kind of flick in the corner that you would get um, so but this little bit up on the top here I suppose is a serif that little kind of hmm what would you call it antenna I don't know <laughs> it probably has a very precise name um, and then the whole thing starts to kind of become more designery as it goes along um, and you might find that this will and kind of curl around like that and it just won't quite meet up and it just becomes a bit more pretty and and where that might have been a little bit blobby this becomes a bit more square um, and you might find you know you get a more designery kind of 1920s kind of art deco kind of version of it like that. Um, I think you might find all sorts of interesting things go on. Um, see the whereas that's actually joining up there. Um, I think you could have something kind of like that happen. It just I think you know this as I say there are kind of a million ways to do it and in fact just just looking at the way I kind of made a mistake there but it's, it gave me a little idea that would be quite interesting you can actually bring that around I don't think I've seen that I don't think I've actually ever seen it but it was just a little mistake I did um, there I noticed here I actually went and joined that bit up there you could actually have a break there which uh, would make it interesting there you are I've just designed a whole new lowercase g I don't think I've ever seen a break up there I bet somebody's done it before I mean it's not the likelihood of coming up with a completely new design for a g is 
very different. Uh, but I mean, if you just actually look at that, I mean, it's it's got no, bears no relation with that at all. Um, what else can we do? Uh, I think you can. Um, I think after a while, uh, it all starts. You need to get a bit more uh, sans serif, which means it doesn't have cute little bits on it, and everything becomes much more. You know, it doesn't have thick sides and thin sides, so it should all be the same kind of thickness. Well, it's, it it probably never is the same thickness because it's all done to look right to the eye, but it it will probably look the same to you. So that's quite sort of simple. Um, and then, then you can probably go completely mad and start going, because I like that break. How about if I do something really kind of squirrely-whirly? Um, and then you could bring, <laughs> bring... There's no reason you can't do this, because, but you'd obviously have to design the whole typeface around a G if you wanted to do something really kind of weird. Um, so I don't know what else can I say? Oh this is kind of a German an old kind of black letter it's called or Old English would probably look something like that and you have a little bit there. Uh, how did I learn all this? Well I, I used to be a sign writer many years ago and I would climb up outside people's shops with a paintbrush and a palette and I would paint their <laughs> paint their names and I suppose a, a letter G here that would always be a jewellers or something we'd choose something like that. Um, are you going to get half serifed kind of typefaces as well um, which will just have kind of a little hint of a little hint of a serif there just a little bit thicker uh, and that might just come round and give a little bit like that um, and you can see, you can kind of see the connection and the way these things grow over time. Um, can I think of anything else? No, I can't. So I'm just going to finish off with one large, largish kind of one to show you. So you want to thin at the top, thick on the edges, um, and then the bottom ring will be bigger than the top one and then you want a little kind of a I don't know antennae I don't know what would you call it and another lowercase g a classic kind of uh, sans serif will look something like that and that's about all that I am going to do <laughs> that is my little lesson on lowercase g's Lower case G's. I hope that proved informative, instructive. <laughs> That's a bit of a strange one, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> if you enjoyed that, keep coming back to the Shoe Rainer Drawing School on YouTube and uh, www.shoe-tube.com, which is my own website where you can see these videos in schools and libraries and uh, keep coming back don't forget to press the button up there subscribe you know make sure you've got me on your browser and all that kind of thing keep coming back and uh, keep drawing keep writing keep practicing <laughs> and I'll see you next time okay bye <laughs>